My name is Teresa, and today we're going to talk about the components that set up an organization for safety. There's six key elements, leadership safety objectives, maintenance of relatively closed operational systems, functional decentralization, creation of safety culture, redundancy of equipment and personnel, and systemic learning. Safety objectives often involve counting the number of incidents, like a TCRF score. Other metrics might include safety observations, near-miss reporting, audit scores, risk reduction projects, and structured safety reviews like HAZOPs that occur on a regular frequency. Unlike incident reporting, these other metrics are more forward-looking, trying to estimate where the problems could happen. The problem with setting targets based on the number of incidents is that it can incentivize underreporting, making everyone from the front line up dread hearing about an incident, not just because they're concerned for the people involved, but because it jeopardizes everyone's scorecard. Targets that incentivize learning, reporting, and avoidance of incidents can help to reinforce strong messages about wanting to know the real truth. That said, the link between the actions we take to create safety and our actual incident count should be checked. Bottom line on safety targets, you will get what you ask for, and a learning org where it's safe to report will be safer. Maintenance of relatively closed operational systems involves complex systems having a healthy balance of preventative maintenance to ensure problems are caught and fixed before they fail. It can also involve turning off production in order to address work. Functional decentralization. In an operation, commonly we have an ops manager who looks after the running of the plant. They have annual targets for safety, production, and cost, and a team to help deliver. If the safety and engineering resources report to the ops manager, they're naturally going to help out with these targets, with a focus on their area of expertise. Having these functions separate from the ops manager can help them champion their functional area with more focus, and different safety targets may apply to each, with engineering looking at reviews of design and long-term projects, HSE looking at governance, audit results, and near misreporting, and the ops manager looking at investigations and learning from incidents. That said, everyone reports to someone, so functional decentralization is really a judgment call on where in your corporate structure these separate areas should come together. Creating a safety culture has many aspects, and all of these points go into the creation of risk in the workplace. These elements shape the choices we make every day, and that behavior manifests as culture. An organization that cares about safety looks at how these elements create risk and addresses them to lower risk for everyone in the workplace. Five is redundancy of equipment and personnel. When we only have one piece of kit, we are more likely to need to run closer to failure more often. Redundancy gives us more margin to keep farther away from failure. Redundancy of people both ensures competent people for the task, and it also enables better problem solving and learning as we bounce ideas off of each other. Finally, systemic learning. Learning takes time. Therefore, fewer investigations with fewer smarter actions help us really focus on and absorb the important lessons. Psychological safety makes it safe to learn, knowing we'll be treated with care, and learning is more than just knowledge. Effective learning is strongest when you feel, and it's even more deeply held when it's experienced. Learning is more than just sharing. It is engagement that creates learning space. Recognizing and removing bias helps us accept that we're not exempt from similar events. And finally, behaving as a learner, always seeking to understand, versus behaving as a knower, which stops the opportunity to learn. Setting up for safety is about creating safety performance and not just leaving safety up to good luck.